Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are on Greenwood Forest by AE Mapping. This map is 94.06 megabytes to download, and there is required mods, like in the mod description, nothing when to download the map, nothing about required mods. However, when I went to install or load up the game in that, so the save file in that, it needed four required mods, so and they are the Garage with cited by Mr. Grucha, that is 50.47 megabytes. The Garage for Machines by VN11.0, that is 9.33 megabytes. The Shift Pack by Barney, that is 10.34 megabytes. And then lastly, the Sawmill by Happy Mole, 9.02 megabytes. So, on top of the 94 megabytes for the map itself, an additional 45 megabytes is required for the additional mods. So, just a little note on that, so things like that I wish it just included in the description. It doesn't take too much to, you know, just add a description info saying, yeah, this has required mods. That doesn't put me off. Wouldn't put people off as such, but what makes it worse is when you get a map, and then, yeah, you make it with required mods. However, you don't make it known it needs required mods until someone downloads it and then tries to load up a game that. So, that is a bit of a sore spot for me at the moment for the map tour and that, so without further ado, let's get on with the rest of the map tour. So, to start off with, as always, time stats will be down below, and let's go over the description, shall we? So it says as following, Welcome to Greenwood Forest Farm. This farm has a challenging ground conditions covered with forests on all sides. You can have a few fields on this farm. The vast majority of the map is covered with forests and very visible is arable. It is a fictional map set in, in a wooded area. You have a small farm and equipment on the map, so that's where we're at the moment. You have a small factory where you can process your tree cut on a plot of land. We'll have a look at that. On map, you'll find the following. There are eight fields, two places of arable woodland, first pr production and cell points, octagonal buildings. Productions are available, all wood-related machine manufacturing factories, sawmill, all DLCs are fully supported. And information platinum expansion is required for those who don't have the platinum expansion will not benefit off some of the features on the map. And have fun exploring the map. So with that out of the way, I have changed things up a little bit. As you may have noticed, things may have been slightly tweaked. That's because I have loaded it into the version that's got the DLC in that. So that is the platinum expansion because there is a difference in slot count. So First of all, on all three modes, slot count with the DLC, or the Platinum Expansion DLC, is 854. Without it, it is 813. And the difference is, you don't have the farmhouse over there. Because, yeah, that farmhouse is part of the Platinum Expansion. Along with that, you don't have the bonus factory. So, the flooring factory, the pet accessories, and the furniture factory because we go into our productions so yeah all these are part of the platinum dlc with the exception of the sawmill and i think the flooring factory as well it was because yeah no the carpentry that was it yeah because the furniture flooring and pet accessories that is part of the platinum expansion dlc so, yeah, that is a little thing just to note again. So, so far we've noticed this map has hidden required mods and does require a DLC to fully utilize the map. So, take that as you wish. Some people may like that, some people may don't. So, I'm just here to give an objective point of view. For me personally, the DLC I don't have an issue with. That's sort of a given, to be fair, net. But the hidden required mods, that is a pain in the ass for me. But anyways, without further ado, enough moaning and rambling on, so here we are on new farmer mode, so I've already gone over slot count, so continue on that before we look at the PDA, let's look at your starting equipment, so for small tractors you've got the Fent Farrier 314, the Max Massey Ferguson MF5S145, Max Ferguson MF47010M, Got the Rush Smash Nova 303 Combine with the Power Stream Header. Trailer's got the Welger DK 115. Got a Ponder Pow Plow Plow. <laughs> the Horse Tyranno Cultivator Cedar. Along with that, you got a Mulcher Stump Grinder, sorry, Stump Grinder, and a Loading Trailer. 
couple of front loaders with log forks and some weights ranging from two and a half tons and then to one and a half tons so very quick going over so yeah on new farm modes you do have the shed site is part of the required mods along with the farmhouse and yeah this is where all of your equipment is going to be so yeah all spread out net yeah perhaps if you want to you can get them a bit more clustered up together and yeah so it's farmhouse as part of the platinum expansion got your garage with silo again a required mod yeah it's like some of these buildings are quite nice that don't get me wrong i'm not shitting on the the mods themselves. These core mods are actually pretty good actually in that. It's just, again, hidden requirements. Don't do that please. But anyway, so, got a light switch in that, so open my help menu in that. But yeah, besides from that, it's a simple farm. You do have a plot area, so you do start off with field one, or plot one, so that contains a large section of forestry, including field one. And then yeah, so you got a cliff over there. And then yeah, go for the rest of this. So yeah, you got a couple of arable spots. I thinking that is because yeah, I know you got your fields and that over here. But when it says there is two places places of arable woodland, so I'm guessing it's here and here. We'll have a look at that in a bit. So yeah, overall with the PDA as well, we'll go over things like cell points, so all your cell points, farm shop and all that is all in the south corner. Then you got your little production hub of your woodland productions. And then yeah, it's a simple, nice little tour around, around the woodland area, we'll have a look around. So, here we are at your feed grain self, gas station, vehicle shop, grocery mart, red marble bowling station, and dealership, and dealer. Johnson's Farmer Market and your South Valley Biomass Energy. So, as is in the name, so yeah, things like Farmer's Market and the Feed Grains will be for your grains. Gross Mart will be things like your production items for the most part. And yeah, it's just double checking, make sure we've got cell points for everything. So, yeah, we've got cell points for everything as you can see, with the exception of fertilizers, manure, and sorry. Digestate, lime, herbicides, stones. So fair enough. Wait a minute. If you got, if you got required mods, that fair enough. Now you have got a required DLC. Now you pre pre place the productions for the DLC items, but you don't include a sell point. The furniture factory. Okay, that actually that requires the metal net, So that's all that. But things like, yeah, if you can add the cell points or add the productions, at least add the cell point onto the map. Don't let the player have to put down a cell point on their own for anything that you are putting into the map as a base item on new farm modes. If you'll start from scratch on that, fair enough, okay. Because, yeah, it's not that hard, so things like go to your production and cell point. So, in terms of cell, cell points, use the silver on marking that. Or something like that, or yeah, you can use that. Perhaps I get it because they don't have the name of Silver Run Market as in the map of that, which I get in that. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, so personally, for me, I recommend a particular mod for cell points like that. I, as always, recommend the Cell Earth Container by Shops Modern, as that will take everything that is a new fill type in the code in, in the XML file. So pretty much any item you produce whether that from fields or productions will be accepted as a sell point item but okay so already so far this map tour ain't going very well a couple of things has already pissed me off but anyways let's head to the store now get a pick up and that and then we'll have a little drive around before we go around just conclude the pda section so yeah as i mentioned you do start off with plot one on new farm remote but yeah all these plot areas are very very expensive like in the millions so again it's what it is and that I'm not too fussed about prices and that it'd be nice things like okay that's the cheapest one at 1.6 mil that does include a cliff face on the left and that's definitely a cliff and that I'm pretty sure that is a cliff we'll have a little look at that as we go 
back around the main farm area at the end. But yeah, things like, you know, have a small plotable area that you can you know, purchase in that. Also, the main town area, main village area, or main hub, where you want to call it in that. Make it purchasable, purchasable, please. I like to add my own things with these and that. Things like, you know, jet washers and that, own repair stores and that. Again, I get it now, why that ain't as always the case. Yeah, it's just things like, little things like that, I just love to have an add-on onto the map, so... Anyways, enough rambling on before I lose my head in that. We're at the dealership, so basic Cleaver Motors and that. Then we head along here, got your gas station over here. Uh, actually no, thank you actually. I was going to say, do you mind? But no, so this will lead us to the feed and grain cell point in that. So, that's going to be your cell point in that for your grain items. And then coming out of here. And okay, that's gates, fair enough. So out of here, back onto the main rows. And yeah, so overall now, in terms of aesthetics, the map is actually good in that, so... That is, again, the downside of the whole current boss situation, so... Still points in that, just over here. Because, again, things like forestry maps, I know sometimes on last gen, they do get the best of reputations because of... You know, a lot of trees cause skin crashes and that. That ain't always the case and that. At the end of the day, it's down to... Sometimes it's the pike out with certain items now, and how much trees are put down and where they're put down as well. That has an effect on the game and that, so... Wait, yeah, so that's going to be your cell points and that, so... Just quick go over here and that, so... Tap PDA too much and that. So this one over here, that's going to be your biomass and that, so things like your wood chips and that. Anyway, so we'll come out of here. I'm going to take a sneaky look across onto the track. And in terms with the exterior of the map, is it similar to, again, the Alpine one? I think so in that, or it's very close to one that's used on the French Alpine map in that. In that. But yeah, it sort of does work this, like things like the woodlands and that, in the background and that, you know, the trees on the hills, so it does blend well together in that. But anyways, here is your wooden themed production hub, so sawmill as part of the part mod. And then as we go over here, you got your DLC productions and that. It was since I played on some run, I will use really any of their items in that, in terms of on a map and that. A nice little rock face over there. But again, things like the cell point now. You can have a cell point here if you want to net. But anyway, so it's down to the player net. So that's what I'm going to go across. And yeah, I'm going to sort of cheat and that, go across bits and that because a lot of it is very samey samey it is. So I may cut bits and that here and there after rambling sections and that. But yeah, I think the reason why this works as, you know, in terms of, you know, being stable on last gen, so yeah, I'm on last gen, I'm on PlayStation 4 Pro, as many people know, isn't it? It's because the trees aren't super dense now. So yeah, thinking that they're calling the PDA in that, so, going to the PDA, at the moment we're in the more sparsey areas. Okay, see, as we go around, there is more dense areas, so, if you want to create, you know, fields in that, then by all means you can in that, so, but yeah, so here is cliff face number one, that is the big grey blob section on PDA. I think that may be in there for the thumbnail net, I'm not sure yet, but we'll get to that at the end, or I will get to it at the end. So yeah, I think, in, yeah, we'll go back down south, because that's going to lead to just field six. If we, if we head across here, I think this is going to be like the arable woodland section, especially in the mod description. Alright, oh, actually, you know what? That does make sense, that. So, yeah, very few trees down here and there. 
But it is, again, it is a challenging map that. It is very hilly. Very nice undulation that. And yeah, things like, you know, again, I know things don't always fully render in because we've got a good view of the map in that. And yeah, that, again, that's the console thing. I think on PC and that, you can get better rendering distances than that, or... Actually, I'm not sure on that, actually, in that, so... Fair enough. We'll go across now. That's again... It is all quite the same in terms with all the other field areas. So I will go to a couple of them and that show them off, but... So yeah, this is how these fields look like now, so... They are very small and sparsely in between. Apologies for the cut there, oh, yeah, just know it is on PC now that the... Today's mod review has been done in terms of editing and re rendering and that on... Uh, video pad while I use this. Yeah, it uses a mixture of video pad and Premiere Pro, but for today's mod review, how to get the video out quickly and that, as always, so I use the video pad. So. But anyway, so side track that on site. We are at the very top of the map, so we'll, we'll jump for that tree. But so yeah, we're at the very top of the map, and I do have to say, as I'm going around in that, things like getting the sort of Alpine exterior does work well. It does have that immersion in that of it. The forestry just carries on in that, so I know things like these Alpine kind of exteriors that is overly used in that on a lot of maps in that. But this does work in that, so see actually, yeah, as we go across here, I'll head to that grey section. Yeah, I think that is this cliff face here on the side. Oh no, no, it's this one here right in front of us, so... Fair enough. Actually... Ooh. Okay, I thought, first of all, it looked like a ditch you did, so... Okay, yeah, okay, fair enough, you can... Phase through the, the border slightly in that, so... Again, things like that... Are you going to notice this? No. Unless you're doing what I'm doing, then... Yes, you will, obviously. But yeah, the reason why I stopped there because I thought all oh, suddenly it was like a big dip it did. Which technically it is, it is a dip in that, but not the kind I won't have to worry about. But yeah, so overall that is pretty much the map in that. So it is a very simple forest map in terms of again. It is a small file size in that of 94 megabytes in that. Yes, if you include the required mods in that, that is an additional 45, so around 140 overall for the map, so... But even then, that ain't too bad to be fair on that, so... you got your field one over here. And I do like how it just, you know, loops down to the main farmyard and that. Again, that's the thing I like about these kind of forestry maps, where it is so open, so vast and that. Yeah, there is pre-placed items, of course there is. Would I personally use these items? Probably not. Things like the, there's the easy sheds and that. I may use those and that. But in terms with these other buildings and that, I can think of so many ways to create my own custom forestry farm and that. And that's the good thing about forestry maps. That's the thing I like and love. So, I think without further ado, I was going to go. Sorry about that. Oh, safe there. So, yeah, I was going to go back to town. Yeah, just sort of simple drive around. As I'm wrapping my things up, as I do my sort of every map tour I do now, if you're not new to it, I do sort of wrap up conclusions, final thoughts and that, and rating. So, out of five, this map, it is a simplistic map, but it is well done in terms of the aesthetics. And, you know, things like the wooden and that, especially how the exterior blends and works with the map. That is the good things about it. The bad things, hidden required mods, and I do mean they're hidden and required mods. There is nothing on the description. There is nothing when you first download the map and act. In terms of, you know, there is a hint of required mods. The only reason why you know there is required mods is when you finish installing the map and then you went to, you know, print a save file and then loads into the map for somewhere it says, oh, you need these X required mods. That is a negative rating of one. And then with the whole DLC in that, 
the required DLC or at least the recommendation. It's not required because you still play the map without. You can still load in and play the map without the DLC. So it's not a required mod, it is a recommended. So that I do have an issue with. But the issue I do have is there are no sell points for these productions that is put into place on the map on your farm mode. And on all three modes as well, I forgot to say as well. Actually, for this map at least, it is for all three modes it is. So, have a sell point please, so, because otherwise you're having to get the user in that to put a sell point down. So for that, I'm going to knock it down half rating. So, overall... I'm going to say it's a solid 3.5 out of 5. It's a well done map. If it wasn't for those required mod issues, it would be a simplistic 4.5, 4 out of 5 map, but yeah, just with the whole required mods, that, that's the downside. Apart from that, it is a good map, it's well done. But anyway, so a very short map tour now, especially for one YouTube. Freaking hell, like, most of my map tours. As of recently, it turns to be like an hour long, really, and that how long that is the case, I do not know. But anyways, as always, hope you found this map tour helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you stay. But for now, it's be far more extreme, and I'll see you all. A very soon.